interjections. And uh, they're important. Uh, we need to remember uh, what these sound like. So the EH is eh. Eh, it can be that. In this case, eh, she kind of calmed down. She kind of calmed down. Daniel, one more time. Eh, she kind of calmed down. She kind of calmed down. She kind of calmed down. I talked to her today. I talked to her today. In fact, I'm going to see her tonight. In fact, I'm going to see her tonight. Great job. Try the whole thing, Daniel. Eh, she kind of calmed down. I talked to her today. In fact, I'm going to see her tonight. Sounds much better. Much, much better. Great job. And let's do this one. Yeah, but I'm a little uncomfortable. 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 More emphasis here. Yeah, but I'm a little uncomfortable. Yeah, but I'm a little uncomfortable. That sounded better. I'm afraid of making another mistake. I'm afraid of making another mistake. Get the feeling, Daniel. I'm afraid of making another mistake. I'm afraid of making another mistake. Good job. So you, the speed is right, but the intonation is not matching yet. Okay. So let's try. Let's try this sentence again. Yeah, but I'm a little uncomfortable. Yeah, but I'm a little uncomfortable. I'm afraid of making another mistake. No, 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 no. Break it up into pieces and get the body language. If you're gonna do it fast, you have to have the feeling. Yeah, okay. but I'm a little uncomfortable. Yeah, but I'm a little uncomfortable. I'm afraid of I'm making afraid another mistake. I'm afraid of making another mistake. Nope, too fast. I'm afraid of making another mistake. I'm afraid of making another mistake. Perfect. Now let's try it together. One, two, three. Yeah, but I'm a little uncomfortable. I'm afraid of making another mistake. It's better. It's better. Okay? So, Daniel, your speed, your shadowing speed was right. But, once again, the intonation. And even though we say it really fast, this word is a little bit slow. This sound is a little bit slow. Okay? And that's where we get that rhythm and that, that, uh, the flow. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, you have to, so your next thing to really worry about is getting that. The speed is no problem. It doesn't need to be faster. You just got to hit the words correctly. Okay? Mm -hmm. Great job. All right, let me go to George. Read this, please. I think yeah. It's... What? Yeah. Okay, what does this mean? Uh, maybe uh, question intonation. It means, isn't that right? 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 Uh, question. Huh? Huh? Uh, but it's not really, it's, an, it's a, what we call a rhetorical question. Uh, maybe a rhetorical. Do you understand? Y yes, yes. Okay, good. So, so in this case, Oh, the house looks very nice. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Yeah, huh? Huh? No, no, no. Got to get that beginning H. The beginning H is important. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Good. Say it faster. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Ooh, it's cold out today. Yeah, huh? Wow, this is really good coffee. Yeah, huh? There you go, there you go. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Very common, very common. And then we go to Andre. Why did I make this red? Because I pronounced uh, S, uh, 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 which is uh, go next to the where. But in this case, uh, I should, uh, I sh should uh, say where the mail, where the mail, without S. Is, is don't pronounce, yes? Absolutely wrong. <laughs> you have to keep this. Oh, let's say. So let's try this again. Where's word? No, no, no. Just get the Z. Don't worry about the. Where's? Where? No, Z sounds. Z, z, z. Where's? 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 That's right. Now, now, 
That's okay. You got the Z, but let's make it more natural. Where's it, is there, uh, if I if I understand you correctly, there is no a th sound, isn't it? Oh, we're only doing this word. We're not doing the next word. Ah, where's good? Where's 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 the mail? The mail. The mail. Where's the mail? Where's no, the mail? we're doing it separate. The mail. The mail. The mail. The mail. Good, good. The mail. Where's the mail? Where's the mail? No, you missed the where's, C. Where's where's the mail? Perfect. Where's where's the mail? Did they catch that? Okay, so now you got a perfect. Where's the mail? Where's the mail? Two times. Where's the mail? Where's the mail? Did Great. I catch that? Did I catch it? It was perfect. Okay. So, the next thing is with that perfect pronunciation in your head, say it faster and faster and faster. And what happens is naturally, not intentionally, naturally the TH disappears. Okay, so listen to me. Where's the mail? 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 Try it. Where's the mail? 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 Okay. Okay. You got it. You got it in the beginning, and then you lost the th. Uh, you you lost the z sound. The most important sound is the Z sound, the Z sound, okay? Where's the mail? 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 <laughs> yeah, it's, you, the other time was better. The other time was better. And Andre, don't worry, it takes time. But just remember, where's the? What happens is the Z and the TH where's position is the? very similar. Where's the, 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 it's the Z and the TH sound good. So my recommendation for you, for the next couple of weeks, concentrate on no cancellation. Okay? So, of course, when we're listening, there will be cancellation. But when you practice speaking, concentrate on no cancellation. Keep both the sounds, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's make like it. Said, like you said, even uh, in the mind of native speakers, yep. uh, they are pronounced TH sound, but yep. actually we didn't hear it. We That's right. Hear it. That's right. Okay. Exactly. That's right. Okay. Getting technical today. Volume 41, number 31. Volume 49, volume 41, number 39, 31. The hell are you reading? Have you been drinking, Andre? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I <laughs> cannot. One more time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a question's offer. Is it a question's offer? No, it's not an offer. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 One more time. Volume 41, number 31. Get that TH. Volume 41, number 31. Volume 41, number 31. Get the Num V. Get the V. B. Volume, 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 volume 41, number 31. Volume, volume 41, 41, number 31. Volume, for, volume 49, for, <laughs> volume 41, uh, number 31. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. 30. Let's go to Jerry's line. Elaine took it to read on the subway. 30. <clears throat> Elaine took it to read on the subway. Okay. I'm missing the on here. I need to hear that one more time. Okay. Elaine took it to read on the subway. Read on the. You got to have this flip sound, this flap T. Read on. Good. Read on the. Good. Elaine took it to read on the subway. 
went to Petrolinan Subway. That's good. A little bit more feeling there. Uh, uh, Elaine took it to read on the subway. Uh, Elaine took it to read on the subway. Perfect, perfect. Frank's line. Uh, mm -hmm. Elaine, Elaine, Elaine took it? Maybe so. Yes, now you have to be angry. It's not, Elaine took it? No, it's, <laughs> Elaine took it? <laughs> Elaine took it? Good. And this one too, be angry. How could you let her take the TV guide? <laughs> that was much better, much better. How could you let her take the TV guide? How could you let her take the TV guide? How could you let her take how could you let her how could you let her take the TV guide? Okay, so let's go slowly again. How could you? How could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? K, K, could you? K, could you? How could you? There you How go. Could you? Letter. A letter. 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 Take the letter. TV guide. Take the TV guide. Take the TV guide. How could you? How could you? Letter. Letter. Take the TV guide. Take the TV guide. How could you let her take the TV guide? How could you let her? How could you let her take the TV guide? Much how better. Could let, how could you let her take the TV guide? Much better. Much better. Much better. Uh, when you're picking up your speed, break it into groups. Break it into groups, mm -hmm. and that's going to help you a lot in order to figure out uh, how to read it faster. How could you let her take the TV guide? How could you let her take the TV guy? There you go. Let's try this one. Walking into my house, stealing my collectible. Okay. Collectible. Walking into my house. Walking into my house, stealing my collectible. Collect, yes. Yeah, stealing my collectible. Stealing my collectible. There you go. Walking into my house, stealing my collectible. Walking into my house, stealing my collectible. She's crazy! She, who crazy? Who is crazy? Elaine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is, but, what's, but this is important, Andre. Is you have to understand, this is what he, she, he's thinking. Who is Elaine? Who is Elaine? She's crazy! Walking into my house, stealing my collectible. Yes. Walking, walking into my house, stealing my collectible. She's crazy! Perfect. That sounded perfect. Be angry. Imagine the situation. Do you understand the situation, Andre? Uh, more or less. I'm not, your son, your question, uh, Andre. Andre, after, think about after this. After your question, I'm, sure, I'm not sure after your question. Okay. Before okay. I think I, I understand. Think about this, Andre. You don't have two daughters. You have a son. You have one son, okay? Okay. And your son is 18 years old. Mm -hmm. And you, you go to work and then you come home and then you realize that your son was having sex with another woman on your bed. <laughs> it's not good to Is that okay, Andre? It's not okay at all. So, <laughs> with that mind, do this question again. You were sleeping on our bed? <laughs> Yes, much better, much better. Yes, yes. Shane, keep it PG. I know. I, well, you know what? We do have children. That's why I changed the word. Uh, in the original, of course, the words are different. But we do have some young kids, so we have to be careful. <laughs> okay. Let me go to George's line. I'm a grown man. I'm a grown man. But you got to, it's like you have to be laughing. It's, do you know the word incredulous? I'm a grown man. That's right. You, you can't ground me. I'm a grown man. You can't, you can't ground me. I'm a grown man. You want to live here? 
You want to live? Andre, be angry. You want to live here? You want to live here? That's right. That's right. <laughs> this is what my dad told me so many times when I was young. You want to live in this house? You follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can so uh, I I I could see the Andrew wheel, the wheel of father. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I I I think uh, Andre is lucky that he has two daughters. If he had a son, he would be really tough. I I have not I have not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> good luck! Good luck! <laughs> good luck! Good luck! Good luck! Good luck. Thank you. Okay, let me go to the next scene here. The next scene, let me go back. Alberto, are you... It says you're offline, Alberto, um, but maybe you're there. Can you turn your microphone on if you can hear me? Yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, good, good. Yeah, it doesn't show you, uh, but I thought you might be here. Good. Alberto, can you be Jerry for the next one? And Holly, can you be Winona, please? Yes. Go for it, guys. So, where are we going to go eat? Wait for uh, uh, Alberto a second. Alberto's wife is also a DDM member, and when she joins the Hangout, the connection is always perfect. But when Alberto joins the Hangout, <laughs> Um, he has a bad connection. I think Alberto has some very powerful electric, I don't know, uh, radiance about him. Yeah. <laughs> Alberto, when you're ready, let us know. But I remember when Alberto was in the subway. Yeah! Your connection is was perfect. I know, I know. He should go back to the subway. <laughs> shit. Piece of shit. Uh, no, we hear you, we hear you. <laughs> we hear you, Alberto. Hello? Sorry, sorry, guys, but this is really frustrating. I always try to say anything and the internet doesn't work. I know. You have the worst luck. Your wife has good luck, but you have the worst luck. Yes. It's a conspiration against me. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alberto. Go for it, please. Jerry's line. Okay. Oh, I thought we eat on the gentle harvest. Oh, I love that place, but uh, it's usually so crowded. Can we get a table? Ah, uh, don't worry. I made reserve. You made what? I um I uh I arranged for the appropriate accommodations, and then night tickets, floor seats. How did you get this? What am on the street from a skull? From who? Uh, um, one of those guys. What guy? You know the guys that uh, they sell the tickets for the solar events. Oh. Wait a second. You are the Mark Evan TV guy? That's our rocker. Oh, well, they're both chubby weathermen. I get down the loose and Paul brought home mix up too. Could you have this? Sure. Thank you. Thanks. Great job, guys. Great job. I'm being tough today. Um, let me stick with Alberto. I thought we'd eat at the... I thought we'd eat at the... Oh, that was perfect. I thought we'd eat at the... I thought we'd eat at the... I thought we'd eat at Shane's house. I thought we'd eat at Shane's house. Shane's I... house. I thought we'd eat at McDonald's. I thought we'd eat at McDonald's. I thought we'd eat at the park. I thought we'd eat at the park. There you go. Very good. Sounds really good. Uh, Shane, Shane. Yes, Gene. Uh, 
uh, it sounds like we did, we did, we did something, we did, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it may be confusing for, for listening. Uh, How will not you recognize. Yeah, it, it, it wouldn't be confusing at all in America because this is a very good common expression. I thought we'd, I thought we'd eat, I thought we'd, uh, hold on a second. Maybe vowel, uh, vowel sound eat instead did eat, right? Hold on. Okay, would I have, would I have? Yeah, uh, so in this case, uh, we'd eat, we'd eat. If it were past tense, I thought we had eaten, uh, had eaten. Uh, we would have to say something like that. I thought we'd eaten. I thought we had eaten. We had. So you're going to have the a. Ah. Maybe you can cancel the h. Uh, but this is future tense. I thought we would eat at. My suggestion is to eat at. That's what the phrase means. And it's a, it is a very uh, polite and uh, good expression. So if you're asking somebody to dinner or... Uh, for a date or for drinks or something. It doesn't have to be a woman. Um, you can suggest something by using this pattern. I thought we'd... I thought... And then verb. R root verb. Okay. Uh, um, we'd uh, is uh, the con uh, contraction from we had. No, we would. We would. We would. We would. We would. Uh, I thought like that. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought we would eat at the general harvest. Yeah, that would be past tense. Okay, okay. Yeah, but then we would say, I thought we would eat at the general harvest, but we ate at McDonald's. Okay, okay. Okay, that's actually a good point. Hold on, I'm going to write that down just to make sure everybody is clear on that. If it had been past tense, we would have to continue... If we're, if we're had, would be had eaten. Well, we could say this. Um, I thought we would eat at the Gentle Harvest, but we ate at McDonald's. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, but Shane, how, how uh, will it sound? Uh, uh, we, did. we did something. Uh, uh, no, no, we, no. We I thought we did, uh, well, we could say this. Hold on a second. No, no, no. Uh, without, uh, I, I thought, uh, we did. We did. We did something yesterday. Okay. Uh, 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 is there a uh, difference between we eat uh, uh, and we did? Ah, uh, we did and we'd eat? Right. Oh, absolutely. Uh, look at the chat, chat room. Look at the chat room. Uh, are, you, are you talking about the sound? Just the sound? Right, right. Okay. So for the sound, first of all, the vowel sound is, for the American ear, totally different. Okay? Okay. And the second difference is the ending. And this D and T do have a different ending. So, we did, we did, we did, we did, we did, we did. Okay. So the big more difference e. is going to be the vowel. More E, right? Absolutely, absolutely. We did, we did. They're perfect. Okay. Uh, but um, but ne the next um, uh, word... Um, begins uh, with uh, vowel at uh, but it uh, turn turning out a uh, turn uh, into slap t yeah let's try this we did it 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 yeah so the vowel sound is the difference we did it but uh, in the end uh, flap t uh, that's right 
Yep, the only difference here, uh, basically, uh, of course, the situation is different. However, uh, sound-wise, the, basically, the only difference is the vowel. Okay. Uh, um, that's, uh, we recognize, uh, we, we can recognize, uh, for, um, we have two, uh, two points uh, to recognize this situation. I yes. Thought I thought and vowel sound. That's right. Yeah, we you have to be able to recognize it. Yep. Okay, let me move on. Let me move on. Uh, let's go to Holly. But it's usually so crowded. But it's usually so crowded. Oh, that's good. So the perfect pronunciation usually, usually, usually. Yeah, we have several pronunciations. So there you go, there you go. That was that was good. That was the fast one. Great job. Let me go back to Jerry. Uh, read this again, please, Alberto. I arranged. I arranged for the appropriate accommodations. Okay. So two things. Uh, more a here. I arranged. Uh, arrange. Arrange. Okay. I didn't know. Arrange. And. I arranged. Perfect. And Alberto, is it appropriate or appropriate? Uh, appropriate. That's right. That's right. So it's not a verb. If it's a verb, then it's eight, but it's not a verb. So I arranged for the appropriate accommodations. I arranged for the appropriate accommodations. Perfect. Nick tickets. Nick tickets. That's right. And very difficult to get. It would be like the Australian Open tickets. Are those easy to buy? Uh, here is different, you know. Maybe but oh, I'm sorry. Go to the bus. You can you can buy the tickets, but floor seats. Can you get uh, seats right next to the net for the Australian Open? Uh, very expensive. Yeah, very expensive. yeah, probably very difficult mm. to get. That's right. Same idea. Yeah, same idea. Difficult. Yes. So, these are very difficult tickets to get. So, this one again, how do we read the intonation, Holly? How did you get these? Okay, good. How did you get these? Uh, probably get is going to be emphasized. And what does get mean? Yeah. Buy. buy. That's right. In this case, buy. Obtain is possible, yes. So, Holly, one more time. How did you get these? There you go. There you go. And and you said, uh, I think you said, from who? Uh, but in this case, from who? Oh, from who? Because he told you. You said, how did you get these? I got them on the street from a scout. From who? Oh, yeah, yeah. From who? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> now, how do you read this word? Uh, huh? No. Read this sentence. Perfect English. Read this sentence. Come on. Read the sentence. Perfection. This is a car. Eh, you're wrong, Gene. Next. This is a car. Eh, you're wrong, Andre. Next. This, this is, is a, a car. car. Okay, there you go. This is a car. A I car. want a cookie. So actually, the perfect pronunciation is a. Okay? A. <laughs> Do we usually say a? No. No. 98% of the time, we say a. Uh. But in this case, Jerry did say a. A, uh, one of those guys. Uh, yes. A, uh, one of those guys. There you go, there you go. If you listen to DDM 73, um, Elaine also has a sentence where she says A. I can't remember the sentence, but uh, she did pronounce it A. A dumb. 
idea. Uh, thank that is such a dumb idea. Exactly. Thank you, you genius. Gene the genius. <laughs> okay. Uh, second, second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Mark McEwen. Mark McEwen. Al Roker. Al Roker. Al Roker. No. Al. Al. Albert. Albert. Alan. Alan. Al Roker. Al Roker. Dom DeLuise. Dom DeLuis. 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 Dom DeLuis. Paul Prudhomme. Paul Prudhomme. Excellent job. Could I have this? Could I have this? More A. Just like, just like this Al, Al, Al. Could I have? Could I have? Could I have this? Could I have this? Could I have this? Could More A. Say Apple. 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 Perfect. Now, actually, Alberto, I want you to help your wife with this, too. She had kind of a hard time. Uh, say it again. Apple. Apple. Happen. Happen. Daddy. 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 Perfect. Could I have this? Could I have this? Great. Could I have this? Could I have this? Excellent job. Great job. Great job. Let me go to the last scene here. Last scene. Uh, once again, uh, let's see. Let's have Daniel be Jerry and anybody. Who wants to be Elaine? Who? Anybody? 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 Maybe me. Oh, okay. Gene. No, it's too late. It's too late. Gene got it. <laughs> so Daniel and Gene. Go for it. Uh, no, I, you know what? No, no. Alberto, we need Alberto because I only had him one scene. Okay. Wow. So it, Daniel, it, Jerry, and uh, Alberto, Elaine. I agree. Okay, I'm ready. Go for it. So we don't have a TV guide. Told you I'd make it up to you. Uh, so Mr. Constanza was pretty mad, eh? Yeah, you almost ruined his last, last work. He collects this? Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, I will personally go out to Queens and deliver his Al Rocker TV guide to him. What did you do with the one with the top you took? I don't know. Excellent job, guys. Excellent job. I'm going to get you on intonation for Daniel and pronunciation for Alberto. Daniel, this one again. You almost ruined his life's work. Much better. You almost ruined his life's work. You almost ruined his life's work. You are a bad person. You're a bad person. <laughs> That's, yeah, so this is, this is the idea. So in your head... Oh, you're a, you almost ruined his life's work. Yeah. Do it again. Oh, uh, okay. You almost ruined his life's work. You yeah. almost ruined his life's work. There you go. There you go. What did you do with the one you took? What did you do with the one you took? Great job. One more time. What did you do with the one you took? Keep it separate. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What, what did you do? What did you do with the one you took? What did you do with the one you took? Great job. Very good. He's, he's fast, guys. He's fast. And let me go to Alberto. Al Roker. Al Roker. Roker, not rocker. <laughs> Al Roker. Very perfect, perfect, perfect. Very good. Okay, questions on Seinfeld. Uh. May I have? Uh, may May I tell? Uh, may I? Uh, may, <laughs> may I give? Uh, may I ask? 
my question. I have some, uh, I have any. No, I'm sorry. Uh, you already asked a question, so you cannot ask another question. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I Go, ahead. Go ahead. Go <laughs> ahead. Uh, first one uh, is uh, fly off the handle. What does that mean? Okay. Uh, uh, I, I have a, I have, well, I did uh, an article on uh, our community, Google community. I didn't see it. When did you do that? Well, um, y y yesterday. Oh, very good. Hold on. Let's go to the community. <laughs> uh, somebody uploaded these pictures. Pretty cool, I thought. Scrumptious man. Yeah, scary, huh? <laughs> All right. So where? Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, flying off the handle. Excellent job. So here's your question. Or here's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, copy. Ah, okay. Uh, when, when, uh, when, um, okay, flying off the handle. But I, I, <laughs> I can't get it. Well, th the explanation is here, so I want you to go here and read it, and then ask ah, me. Okay okay? okay. okay. Next okay. question. Great job, Daniel. Next question. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, we keep time. <laughs> you, you can say uh, plasticine? Processing? <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, Gene. Um, can, you, can you return uh, to the text? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. There thou art. Uh, my second question uh, is in the end of uh, the second scene. Uh, Appropriate accommodations, Nick, scalper. Below, below, below. Nick, Nick, uh, uh, what the reason? Uh, uh, um, how, how, uh, how, how we know uh, the name of the team is Nick's? Plural form. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's singular. Because it's an adjective. Nick tickets. But uh, name of uh, the team, Nick's. Many Nick. <laughs> yeah, so there, this is, that's a very good point, and there are two ways. Some people will say Nick's tickets, okay? So you're absolutely right. Actually, let's go back to Google and let's do a search. Uh, this, this, that's a great question. I didn't think about that. So the American mind is we cannot have plural noun. So it has to be singular noun. Do you understand? That's just the American mind. Let's see what happens here. Um, I want to buy Nick tickets in quotations. Uh, and it doesn't give me quotations. The name of the, sorry, Shane, the, the name of the team is Knicks. Yeah, the New York Knicks. Maybe it's, it's, a, it's a typo. Or a, or a no, 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 it's, I'll, I'll show you, yeah, get. Because you say, you say, uh, 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 Yankees, Yankees ticket. I know, but that's why, hold on a second, I'm, that's why I'm showing you, get Nick, Nick tickets. So, without the S, there's 224 results, Nick tickets, Nick tickets, so we do say that, okay, we do say it. However, Nick's tickets, with an S, 74,000, okay, so Nick's, tic Nick's tickets is correct, but still, some people will feel uncomfortable with an S and a noun. It just sounds awkward, okay? 
Uh, so you're right. Grammatically, we can keep the S, but many times we don't. Okay. So for me too, uh, if I was that, we have another baseball team called the Twins. Okay. Uh, get twin, get twin tickets. So here we got twin tickets. Get two twin tickets. Uh, let me see. Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota twin tickets. Uh, eleven thousand results. Minnesota twin tickets. Eleven thousand results. But it should be with an S. So with an S. 80,000 results. Okay, so eight people will say the S, one person will say no S. Yeah, roughly 80,000, yeah. So, so eight people will say S, one person will say no S. You can think like that. Uh, how uh, how, uh, how uh, will it say uh, Yankees and Yankee? Let's do, let's do it. Let's do it. Yankee tickets without the S. Yankee tickets 56,000 without the S. And with the S 400,000, 450,000. So here it's about 9 to 1. About 9 to 1. The Minnesota Twins more naturally, more naturally uh, will be without S. No, 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 no. With the S. The natural way is with the S. Ah, with. Yep. Yep. With the S is more natural. And it's correct. Okay. So it's common. So people can say Dodger? Dodger tickets? Dodger. Let's do it. Dodger tickets. 21,000. Dodgers tickets, 176,000. So about about nine to one. About nine to one. Oh. So with the S is more common, but we do say it without the S. Thank Got you. it. Right. Uh, yes. Uh, but uh, the last question. Uh, I I forgot I forget this but uh, <laughs> uh, if if we uh, return to the text maybe <laughs> maybe you'll remember maybe it helps me all right maybe it helps me if anybody else is thinking of a question go ahead yes well, uh, can I, you use uh, the the word nerve is it the nerve of that woman. Uh, for different meaning, uh, anxious or something like that? Uh, no, no, no. That now you're thinking nervous. Um, oh. So hold on a second. The nerve of that woman. Where is it? Where the hell is it? Yeah. There we go. Frank. Well, Oops. Yeah. Next. Top turkey. Go to the beginning. There we go. Uh, the nerve of that woman. The once again, instead of nerve, we would say audacity. Oops. Uh, the and this is not a nice word, but I'll tell you anyway. The balls of that woman. Yeah, not a, you understand. It's not a nice word, but it's, it's kind of the recklessness. It's kind the of recklessness of that woman. The what? Reckless, reckless. And another word for balls, uh, cojones. Cojones, yeah. That's that's Spanish, right? Nuts. Cojones. Yeah. Nuts. But but nuts is going to be different. Nuts is going to be different. Uh, Alberto, give me the word again. Type it down, maybe. Reckless, recklessness. Ah, uh, recklessness. Mm, yeah. Not in this case. Recklessness has the implication of stupidity. Uh, but here it's it's uh, uh, 
It's like almost the opposite because she's and it's intentional. She intentionally took it. So it wasn't careless. She's so rude. The rudeness. We could say rudeness. The, uh, I want to say impotence, but it's not impotence. Uh, give me another word. Yes, the expression is kind of say, uh, uh, what does she think she is? Who does she think she is? Exactly. Yes, that's perfect. And the situation, uh, who does she think she is? Exactly. Okay. Thanks. More questions? Uh, about life's work. Yes. Uh, what, uh, what did Jerry mean? Uh, when uh, when uh, said uh, about life's uh, work of Elaine, <laughs> but uh, uh, what uh, Elaine took uh, the TV guide from Frank and uh, that ruined uh, life's work. Yeah, it could have ruined his life's work. Okay. Oh, ah, okay. Frank's life. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. So his refers to Frank. Okay, okay, okay. Frank's life's work. The building the collection, that's right. Okay. Okay. Okay, anything else? Frank, Any other questions? Uh, yes. Uh, Frank, uh, can we say, uh, instead of... Uh, the of that woman, can we say the boldness of that woman? Uh, boldness. Boldness actually can sometimes, yeah, it's possible. First of all, yes, Daniel, uh, it's possible to say boldness. Uh, uh, the word I was trying to think of earlier was insolence, insolence. Uh, boldness is possible. Uh, actually, boldness might be pretty good. Hold on a second. The boldness. Uh, no, but because the only problem with boldness is uh, it it leads to oops bravery. Okay, and here it's not a question of bravery. It's it's possible, but people might have a twist of bravery. And here it's it's not about brave. It's about rude. So yeah, like, like a bravery in a, in a negative way, in a negative way. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, so these words are all rude, and this can be rude too, kind of a dirty word. So uh, this is possible, but especially nerve, audacity, rudeness, insolence. Those are those are the perfect synonyms for this situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank. You. Yeah. Alberto? Simply said, thief. Elaine is thief. Yeah, uh, in Frank's mind, that's right, exactly. <laughs> yes, Shane, you know, this is a different question. It's about uh, one of the last chapters of the field. Uh huh. Uh, one chapter when Kramer, uh, I know you, you remember that, um, say that he was in a brouhaha. Uh, he punched Mickey. Right. He was talking about Mickey Mantle. Yes, he was talking about Mickey Mantle. Uh, okay. But Mickey Mantle uh, left baseball before same. It's a. Re it, that's why it's a seniors game. It was a retirees game. It was, so it's a bunch of seventy-year-old uh, grandpas. <laughs> Are you talking about DD? A uh, DDM. DDM. A long time ago. Uh, yeah, in one of the uh, DDMs from a long time ago, Kramer was doing the summer, what was it? The Senior League, I can't remember the name. Yes, Senior, yes. 
Yeah. And uh, and they had a so it was Kramer who's a you know 35 40 year old guy playing a bunch of 70 and 80 year old grandpas <laughs> who happened to be New York Yankee stars and Kramer punched Mickey Mantle in the mouth. <laughs> That's too bad. It's horrible. Mickey Kramer Mantle. Is my yeah. My favorite yes. guy, Kramer. <laughs> Okay, we're wasting time. Well, not wasting time at all. We're having a good time. He's uh, a mooch. Yes, he is a mooch. He's a professional mooch. That's absolutely right. Okay, DDM72. Let's uh, jump to the next story here. Uh, let me start with... Uh, well, let me see here. I'll start with Andre. Andre is being very nice, calm, quiet, and patient. Uh, we'll start with Andre. And uh, Holly's being nice, calm, quiet, and patient, too. So I need some stuff for Holly. Holly. Anyway, we'll go. Uh, well, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go in order. We'll go Andre, Daniel, Gene, Holly, Alberto, and then back to Andre. I might, after, we'll go up to Alberto, and then I might switch, okay? So let's go for it. Uh, start with Andre, please. Okay. Marine biologists are hoping uh, their hard work will help unlock the mystery behind the red finds on Oceanside. Scientists uh, spent uh, the day dissecting uh, an oarfish, one of two that turned up on Southern California beaches, beaches uh, last week. New at uh, 6 uh, o'clock, uh, 10 news reporter Ashley DiMartio explains why some believe the appearance of the oarfish uh, means that San Diegans should brace themselves for the big one. Okay. okay. Strange occurrence of not one but two of the rare creatures from the deep blue sea wash ashore in the same week in cattle. The screen is disappearing disappearing ah, yeah. time. sorry sorry okay uh, can I okay I'll, I'll read it again thank you a strange occurrence of not the one but two of the rare creatures from the deep blue sea washed ashore in the same week in Catalina and Oceanside great job great job Jean discovery of lifetime oh, okay oh, fish are one of these strange exotic fish that really catch people's attention. So when they do appear, they lead to speculation. Great job. Holly. Like a sea serpent myth, according to traditional Japanese lore, the oar fish will surface and then beach themselves to show signs of an impending earthquake. Great job. Alberto. There is a big difference between suggesting something like that and actually proving what did an animal sense. What did it feel that we didn't feel that told us about a coming event? Great job. Holly. Yeah? Okay. The UK's Telegraph newspaper reported that after the big earthquakes in March of 2010 in Haiti and Taiwan, that 10 or fish washed up in Japan. Problem is, the big earthquake in Japan didn't happen until exactly a year later, in March of 2011. Great job. Uh, after Holly, let me go back to Andre. I'm sorry, Alberto. No. There's no scientific proof on theories that bottom dueling fish might be susceptible to movement in seismic fault lines. Good job. And Andre? Yes. Ah, oh, the problem for earthquake prediction is you can just go out uh, and watch them for the earthquake uh, coming next year because the earthquake might be 100 years away. And that is uh, the difficulty uh, in trying to observe animals and see 
how they behave before an earthquake. Good job. And Daniel, these two? Okay. Studies have been done on other animals sensing earthquakes before they happen. That elephant sensed something and went uphill. Great job. And Gene, wrap it up. Still so many questions left unanswered, but scientists are hoping to figure it out soon. Ashley DiMartino, uh, Ashley DiMartino, 10 News. Great job, guys. Excellent job. I'm going to be tough on pronunciation again. Um, and starting with Andre, uh, lots of TH, but let's start here. Unlock the mystery. Unlock the, unlock the mystery. Unlock, unlock the mystery. Mm -hmm. I lock, uh, uh, unlock the mystery. Unlock the mystery. Behind a rare find. Behind a rare find. Good. One of two that turned up. One of two that turned up. Good. Let's try it again. One of two that turned up. One of two that that turned up. One of two that turned up. Good job. One more time. Two more times, Andre. One of two that turned up. 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 Great job. One of two that turned up. Now this one, you did actually a, a good job reading it, but let's get the flow one more time. And we put it in groups like this. So this is an idea for the groups. New at 6 o'clock, 10 News reporter Ashley DiMartino explains why. New at 6 o'clock, 10 News reporter Ashley DiMartino explains why. New at 6 o'clock, 10 News reporter, Ashley DiMartino explains why. Perfect. Some believe the appearance. Some believe the appearance. Yep, get that the TH. Appearance. Some believe the appearance. Some believe the appearance. One more time. The appearance. The appearance. Some believe the appearance. Means that San Diegans. Mean that San Diegans. Nope. Means, means that means that means that means that means that and no you, so once again Andre keep the Z uh, just like the first sentence we practiced means earlier that, there you go means means that means that San Diegans very good means that, means that San Diegans for means the, that San Diegans for the big one for the big for the big one. There you for go. For the big one. For the big one. So once again, Andre, for the next uh, month, no cancellation for you. No cancellation. Keep all the sounds. Okay? Okay, I will try. Okay, good. Uh, who's this? I think it was Holly? Yes. Or fish will surface. Uh, what? I can't see. It'll catch up. Okay. Or fish will surface. Fish will surface. Surface. Surf surface. There you go. It's like a F I S S. Surface. Surface. S more S. Surface. Surface. Good. And then beach themselves. And then beach themselves. Good. So try this again. The the old fish will surfish and then beach themselves. Read this sentence, please. I saw shellfish on the surface. Okay. That sounded good. Uh, up here, when you said this word, it sounded like shellfish. Okay, so I want you to be careful. So the surface as a verb or as a noun, say it like this. Sur. This surface. Surface. Sur. Surface. So one more. One more time. The fish will surface and then beach themselves. Good. Say it again. Make it smooth. Your fish 
will surface and then beach themselves. The oarfish will surface and then beach themselves. The oarfish will surface and then beach themselves. There you go. That sounded much better, much better. Ah, uh, who's this? Proving. Alberto. Proving. And actually proving what did an animal sense. And actually proving what did an animal sense. Perfect. And I think we're back to Holly. The ah, the ah, reported that after the big earthquakes. Reported that after. After. Earthquake, after. 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 Good. Try it again. Reported that after the big earthquakes. That sounds good. So if you really concentrate, it's easy. Okay, you're you're doing a great job. But mm -hmm. try and make it natural too, and that's not easy. I know it's not. Reported that after the big earthquakes. Reported that after the big earthquakes. Good job. What's the American pronunciation? Haiti, Haiti. Haiti, ah, Haiti. Yeah. Most of the world says IT or Haiti, uh, but only America, we say Haiti, Haiti. Haiti, yeah. <laughs> and once, once again, the A, ah, the A ah sound. Uh, happened. That's right. Didn't happen until exactly. It didn't happen until exactly. There you go. A year later. And Alberto, bottom dwelling fish. Bottom dwelling fish. Seismic fault lines. Seis, uh, seismic. Sorry. Yeah? Seismic. seismic fault lines. There you go. Your wife told me about the earthquake in Armenia. Oh, yes. When was that? Uh, the 25th of January, 1999. 1999, January 25th. There was a terrible earthquake in Colombia, in Alberto's hometown. Uh, did many people die? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, I don't know exactly, but about 3,000, 4,000 people. Uh, that's really horrible. Alberto, was you and your family okay? Yes, yes. Uh, I lost some friends. Oh, boy. In that airport. But my family, thanks God, was okay. Uh, oh. That morning, I I undertake a trip with my dad uh, to capital city. Uh -huh. and I was uh, in the road at the moment of the air. Uh, was terrible. Was terrible. Uh, oh, you must have been worried sick about your mother. Yes, yeah, so half of half of the city was totally destroyed. Okay. The south part of the city was practically totally destroyed. Um, I don't know why, but uh, as always, the poor, the poorest people of the city yeah. uh, took the, the worst part. They suffered the most. Yes. Um, oh, that's, that's terrible. Oh, my uh, goodness. One, one, one week after the earthquake, oh, of course, when, uh, once we... We heard about the earthquake. We come back to Romania immediately. And one week after the earthquake, the Armenia was like a movie shape. You know that that movie that so many people is stealing and doing whatever they want. Looting, looting. Any... Yes, without the, the police uh, went uh, across the neighborhoods and say, if you can defend yourself how oh. wow so one week later it was chaos in the city I, I think I think we lost Alberto's connection he'll be back he'll be back uh, did everybody understand what Alberto was saying yes yeah really uh, really a tragedy very very sad very very sad yes yes 
uh, Alberto and his wife are from the same uh, town. Um, I, I, if he comes back, I do want to ask him some more questions, but uh, really sad. Okay, uh, the last one here is for Andre. Look at the THs, Andre, your favorite TH. Yes. Yes, I look at it. <laughs> okay, read it again from the beginning, Andre. The, the problem for earthquake prediction, the, the problem for earthquake prediction is you can't just go out and watch uh, them for the earthquake uh, coming next year because, because that earthquake might be 100 years away. And that's uh, the difficulty in trying to observe animals and see how they behave before an earthquake. Much, much better. And this is tough, Andre. I know, I know you're, I can see your concentration. I can feel your concentration. That's good. But this type of, you know what, Andre, uh, this, print this paragraph and just put it in your wallet or put it in your pocket and every time you go to the bathroom read it <laughs> um, and just practice the THs every time you go to the bathroom for a week read it the problem for earthquake prediction is you can't just go out and watch them for the earthquake coming next year because that earthquake might be a hundred years away and that's the difficulty in trying to observe uh, and that's the difficulty in trying to observe animals and see how they behave before an earthquake. So I'll make, it, I'll make the distinctions again. The problem for earthquake prediction is you can't just go out and watch them for the earthquake coming next year because that earthquake might be a hundred years away. And that's the difficulty in trying to observe animals and see how they behave before an earthquake. So this is your grouping. The problem for earthquake prediction is you can't just go out and watch them for the earthquake coming next year because that earthquake might be a hundred years away. And that's the difficulty in trying to observe animals and see how they behave before an earthquake. Okay? Okay. Thanks. Thanks for the tip. Oh. We're, uh, my pleasure. You're, you're always working hard, but uh, I'm never going to be nice to you about the TH. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you one way or the other. <laughs> That's an old song. If, Sorry. Yeah. If, if my wife will ask me, are you insane? I repeat it every night. I, I say, no, I'm not insane. It was a shame. Yeah, you say it was insane. Yeah. yeah, you say I'm not insane. I'm in shame. <laughs> I'm, I'm sh <laughs> it's a, it's English crazy. Yeah. Okay, everybody else did a great job. Questions about anything? Is the shameization? It's a it's a it's a mental disease, Alberto. In shame. <laughs> It's not, it's not globalization, it's chainalization. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Alberto, I did want to ask you, uh, your wife's family was okay in the earthquake? Uh, yes, yes, my, my wife is not from Armenia. Uh, uh, when did you get married? Uh, when we was uh, doing my university, and she also... And um, we studied at Bogota, in the capital city. Okay, so you met in, Colum in the capital? Yes, and after that we went, uh, we lived in Armenia for five years. Oh, okay. Uh, and this is 2005? Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's. Uh, it sounds like a, a, a horrible tragedy. I have never. I've. I've experienced the an earthquake. Oh, yes. I, I've experienced an earthquake, but just a little earthquake, and it was a really small earthquake. It was three point two, but still the feeling was very helpless. Yes, but, but I, I think it is, it is, uh, there are some zones or some regions where the, 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 the probability of an earthquake is, is more than another. For example, Absolutely. Asia, the, the, the coffee axis, specifically Armenia, uh, if you live there, you're going to feel, you're going to experience uh, one or two movements per year. That's I, scary. I, I have a friend. I have a friend in San Francisco, and um, he told me that in San Francisco and California is the same. Yeah. Well, everybody, if uh, if you see this map, uh, we can see Alberto's home. Uh, Alberto lives by this dot. The red dot, the one dot there, is uh, a volcano. And Alberto, near Armenia, you have a volcano, right? Yes. So this is... The, this is a, a give me let me change the color. So if, if I'm if I'm correct, tell me if I'm wrong. But I believe uh, this is about where your home is. Is that right? Yes, yes. The, the, that volcano is called a machine. Um, scientists uh, have said that if the machine uh, he's uh, asleep, okay. It's, but if the, if the machine uh, uh, if it wakes up. Once again, Alberto's internet leaves. Do red places uh, mean uh, the oh. volcano places? Yeah, the red places are volcanoes. That's right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, living, uh, living on the uh, uh, line, uh, fault line is very dangerous. Very scary, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right, right, indeed. Yeah, yeah. I once again, um, ha have you guys experienced an earthquake? Anybody? Yes, uh, I have. I have experienced uh, in uh, in Greece years ago. Yes, in Greece uh, when we were on Crete, Crete, Crete. It was in, uh, in uh, 2011. You know, Crete. was it scary? How many years of life? No, actually not. Oh, Alberto. With Alberto, that. go ahead, Alberto. You know how many years of life I'm missing with this internet? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Alberto. The, so, uh, so if, if the volcano I wakes up, the, the, if the volcano wakes up, wakes up yeah. If the <laughs> volcano wakes up, uh, Armenia will be totally destroyed. Absolutely, totally uh, destroyed. Yeah. Alberto, move your family. Yes. <laughs> it's not too easy. <laughs> I know it's not. It's not. Why? Why does your family? What does your family do? Why? Why are there roots in Armenia? Uh, some farms. Farming. Farms. Okay. Yeah. Well, farming near a volcano is always very productive. Yes. Because the, H, the, Because of H. The hydrogen. The best. Hydrogen. The best lands, the best fields yep. uh, in Colombia for 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 crops uh, are in the coffee axis. That's the reason that, that Colombia produces the the best coffee in the world, the be, the best quality. Of yeah. Coffee in the world. So if you want the best, you have to live in a dangerous area. <laughs> yes. Yes. That that, is, that 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 experience was really dramatic. Oh, I can't imagine that had that that was probably a yeah. I can't imagine how scary it must have been. I'm just so happy that everybody in your family was okay, and I feel and I'm sorry about your friends. It's a miracle. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the active volcanoes of the world, and uh, the fault lines. And we can see we actually we call this. The ring of fire, the ring of fire, because it is, it's kind of circular, 
and that's lots of volcanoes and lots of, uh, well, because of the volcanoes, we say ring of fire, the ring of fire. I saw the podcast on the TV um, about volcano, volcanoes, and um, <laughs> they said um, that if uh, many big, uh, huge volcanoes uh, wake up, wake up, it might be dangerous for mm, for air. Oh, for absolutely. Hydrogen. It, yeah. uh, it, it might be um, uh, that volcanoes uh, absorb absorb all hydro high. Uh, hydrogen. Hydrogen. Yeah. Hydrogen on the earth. Well, I mean, it's bad for that. Also, you have the ash in the air. I mean, it would. I, I think that's why many rich people in America they buy land in Argentina and Chile. So, if there are many volcanoes, they can quickly leave the northern hemisphere and fly to the southern hemisphere, hoping that it will be cleaner and they will be alive. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's a good policy, but that's what they do. Maybe it won't help them. I don't think it will help them. I think their planes, their expensive planes will fill with ash, and they'll probably crash, which is a tragedy itself, but hey. Shane, could I ask a question? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, well, I have a question about uh, the use of uh, the word impending. Well, uh, I, I don't know for sure, but I think it, it, do we use only for big events, big, big impending events, big uh, menacing events, or, or... Or anything. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, uh, and I like, once again, Daniel has a great vocabulary. Uh, and Daniel, I would say it's more common with uh, large or important, same, same idea, uh, and especially menacing, uh, which would be uh, destructive or uh, some sort of uh, evil or, or negative uh, events. Uh, the word, and we're talking about the usage of impending. Uh, okay, uh, 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 can we use looming instead? Ah, right. now looming absolutely has this nuance. So a synonym of impending would be looming. And looming uh, is something that casts a dark shadow, okay? Uh, so that definitely, these two are, are related. Uh, so impending, I would say if there's an order, impending, then uh, in a menacing state, uh, absolutely looming. So these are uh, synonyms, but remember, they're synonyms in the negative uh, nuance. So we can say an impending, yeah, impending almost always is going to be negative. Yeah. Okay. It's okay, given. thanks. It's kind of, it's one more time, Alberto. It's a given. It's, it's a given. That's going to happen. It's a given. Yes. A impending has, and this is, without this nuance, without this nuance, impending means, whoops, like Alberto said, it's a given. It's sure to happen. Uh, maybe prediction. Hmm. A prediction has some, a prediction might not come true, okay? Uh, something that's impending will come true, but we don't know when. Okay. okay. The sneeze Forecast. is impending. Yeah. Yeah, my birthday is impending, or my birthday... Uh, coming. Is, yeah, my birthday is coming, yeah. 
So, so can we say Shane's impending birthday? Does that make sense? No. no it, it sounds kind of funny. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense because it's absolutely will happen. So impending has sort of a more of a a, a negative, um, the, and we're not sure of the outcome, but probably negative. Looming, looming will be a negative outcome. I am profiting your birthday. Yes, <laughs> it is coming. Wait, wait, I see a number. I see a number. 12, 22, 12, 22. <laughs> oh, by the way, let me, I have to ask a question. Hold on a second. Everybody is here. Uh, is this is this where I asked? Hold on a second. Sorry. Uno moment. That must be it. Okay. Um, I think it's wrong. Okay, let's see. It's uh, 7.45 p.m. in Korea. Uh, what time is it in St. Petersburg? It's what, now 7.45. What? Uh, it's not, uh, now in St. Petersburg, uh, 2.43. Uh, 45. Okay, 14.45. 14, right. What time is it in, where in Spain? Spain is the one, one time zone? 11.45. 11.45. And Australia? Poor Alberto. Alberto's getting old. Daniel, what time is it in your town? Turn your mic on, Daniel. It's yeah, it's same. It's two forty three. Two forty five. Okay, good, good. Um, Alberto, can you hear me? Como estás? Fox <laughs> passengers get bored. I feel sorry. Um, the reason I'm asking everybody is in, uh, I'm going to stop the recording.